Nine months ago, I found a way to simulate water physics on Scratch, a simple programming language that was designed to teach people the fundamentals of coding. Now, I want to turn that splash of water into an ocean, but not just some more waves and seagulls. You see, I want to make a game that breaks the platform, and with 10 years experience and almost a million views across my project, I have everything I need to make the best game Scratch has ever seen. This is how I created a Penguin's Odyssey. People love mystery, and while my water physics project certainly puzzled a few, there's something even more crazy and scary than this. The ocean. So I want to challenge myself to making some kind of open, expansive, ocean adventure game in this primitive coding language. And if you're sitting there wondering how the heck is this guy gonna make ocean physics on scratch, you're about to find it. First I imported the water from my previous project, then I changed the colour of it, then I put some light rays in there to make it look all shiny and sparkly, and then I put the penguin in there, and then I put a little bobbing thing in the background to make it look more realistic, and then I made it so that when the penguin moves side to side, the water bobs up and down more fast or slower, depending on how fast the penguin's moving, so it looks like the background's moving. Hope that clears up all your questions, everybody. No. To recap my water physics video, my water works by linking a series of points that are all bobbing up and down using a trigonometric sine wave. Then, using the pen feature in Scratch, I link all the points together and fill in the other parts. This just creates a simple wave, but doesn't have any attached physics for objects or moving things. Here, initially I tried to make it so that the penguin can splash when he lands back in the water, but unfortunately this was going to be too complex to incorporate when you think about the background moving left and right. When you look at a wave, if you're moving the same direction as the wave, it would be moving extra slow or almost be stationary, whereas if you move opposite to it, the wave's going to speed up. Every position of the point in the wave is connected to the sine function. All I have to do is times it by the player's speed so that it goes faster or slower. With the water now complete, I can turn my attention to the rest of the game. My idea for the game is to have a penguin that's lost from the rest of the colony and needs to get back home. The first step to animating something is to search up some reference pictures. How do you spell penguin? Then you want to think about the movement patterns that the character is going to be doing. In this case, I want an animation when the penguin goes from left to right. Taking a little inspiration from a grid of penguins, I made an idle position that I then animated frame by frame to get this. As for the movement of the penguin, I wanted it to go round in a clockwise motion. Here I encountered a problem with the direction of the penguin, where I didn't want it to be upside down. To fix this, I implemented this clever flipping at certain points in the turning circle. This made the swimming look realistic and smooth, without the need for excessive animations in between phases. Let's just make a minor tweak to the code to make it more smooth and... Okay, what the f***? And just like that, with no troubles at all, I've got a perfect system working. To make it look more like an ocean, I need fish. And this is going to be a real challenge because Scratch has a clone limit and I can't just spam a bunch of different fish in the world. I need a clever system to remove some fish when they're off screen while keeping others in screen active. After sketching up a couple types of fish, I made only a few spawn in and swim in a straight line. Then I made them spawn at different heights and implemented this wraparound idea where if they went off the screen on the left side, they'd re-enter the screen on the right, meaning there'd always be the same amount of fish in the world, but there appears to be a deceivingly more amount. If you paid close attention while swimming, you'd see see that the fish are on the same level. So to further camouflage this idea, I added in a bobbing wave motion using, once again, trigonometry. Now unfortunately, implementing these fish wasn't as easy as it seems. Page unresponsive? What do you mean page unresponsive? <laughs> At this point, I've just got to add a couple final details before I can launch into the actual game itself. You've probably seen these light rays lurking around in video clips. I made those by adding a gradient to a rectangle and then slapping that rectangle underneath a water point that's position has already been recorded in a list. If you look closely at the rays, you'll see they're not even bobbing up and down. I've been quite lazy, so don't look too closely. Other notable features are these bubbles when the penguin swims, an ocean bed, and the abyss. Yes.
but that'll only come in later. <laughs> Before I can add in achievements and other cool things, I first have to do some UI, user interface. I need a depth meter and a way for the player to die. Starting with the depth meter, I made it purple so I could see it better for testing, and I tried a few mathematical formulas to get these numbers to be stationed on the line perfectly in correspondence with the actual depth of the world. I wanted 100 to be the deepest point and 0 to be the level of the water. With a little bit more mathematics, I was able to get it working. And man, it looked nice which means it's time to code the player to die. Now before you start commenting about how sadistic I am, remember that the aim of this game is to create the most immersive game possible on Scratch. So first I found the most realistic animal dying sounds, created a pain sprite so that the player felt the pain of dying, and made the penguin gulp for air. So I'd highly recommend that you try keep your little pup alive, or bad things will happen. To monitor the oxygen of the penguin, I made this oxygen bar that you can refill by getting to the surface. But as you go deeper, your penguin gets slower, meaning it might take a bit longer than you think to get back up. The game's feeling fun, immersive, free, but it's lacking some kind of exterior motive other than just swim to the finish line. I need a way for people to want to spend hours in this game, and I'm going to do that through achievements. Players can interact with treasure chests that are spaced out across the map that show all of the achievements to collect and give a hint about what each one is. I also made these little pop-ups that'll show when you get an achievement, so do your best to get all 18. To get the YouTube achievement, you have to like, subscribe, ring that notification. I'm no, just kidding, just press the H key while you hover over it. Now you have a side mission as you go and collect achievements. But what's more important is that the background actually looks nice. And so I needed to add in extra elements like a lighthouse, some more boats, and the colossal. But it was still missing some key sound effects. So I fixed that. Ow, that was silly. This isn't the way home. I can't lie, they need to sign me up for voice acting. It's time to make an ending to the game, but I don't want it to be easy. I had this idea for the penguin to source a glider in the bottom of the ocean that they can then use to glide over the remaining icebergs that they can't jump over. This is a cool easter egg that alludes to the game Learn to Fly, and I had a couple minor troubles implementing this for myself. And yeah, the artwork is clapped. So before I pass the game off to my friend and get a live reaction of him playing the finished thing, I need to make an end screen, or at least some kind of cutscene. And this has got to be the pinnacle of the game. The player has journeyed through Ocean's End to get back home. And what does he see when he finally arrives at the colony? Let's see my friend's live reactions, and they don't know about the ending. Alright, here we go. Starting off with what looks to be a nice cutscene. I need to get home to the colony. That was a yeah. nice voice line. I quite enjoyed that. All right, I'm just Thank saying. you. I, I was just blessed with the sexy voice. <laughs> You're so right. Okay. This isn't the way home. That is not the way. All right. <laughs> Achievements yeah. as well? No way. Oh my god. Is that Nemo? That's yeah, a nice found Nemo. Story. Whoa, whoa. Oxygen? Get some air. Get some air. Oh. oh what that were you doing? A little fine. What do you think of the water? It's... It's water, all right. Thanks. <laughs> click, click, buddy. Click. <laughs> Just click. You have to watch the video to get that one. Okay. Oh boy. Down yeah. The, the void. It's so dark. Watch your oxygen, man. You gotta, you gotta get through there quick. Okay, okay. I'm going. I'm going. I can't. I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. No, it's fine. 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 <gasps> How does this actually work? Because water and scratch, like waves and stuff, that's quite impressive. How yeah, it's uh, it, it's mostly just uh, trigonometry. It, I, this is something down there. You want to find it? Just because you asked me. I don't want to go down that pit. I'm leaving. Now, what is oh, that? What is that, man? Yeah. Go, go, go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. See, oh. Oh, 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 there we go. Another secret achievement. I bet no one else found that. No, no, you're the first, actually. Yeah. Yeah. A hundred kilometers. So it's, it's a busy penguin. You're getting brain damage. <laughs> you already I have that, that, man. <laughs> oh, 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 my oh, God. Goodness. Wait. Oh, <gasps> with this glider, I can get over any obstacle. It's the colony. Oh, my fam. Oh, oh my fam. Oh. Oh my god. They don't family. seem to want to see you. <laughs> Press oh C to god. end the run. Are you ready to end the run? 
You've come all this way, right? Yeah, I've traveled over a hundred kilometers. I mean, think about that. I've almost yeah. died twice. I got brain damage in the process. It's really a beautiful story. I got lucky. Think about that. Mm -hmm. And now I get to finally meet my family. Wow!